october twelfth our lady of the pillar our lady of the pillar is recognized as the first marian apparition in the history of christianity and is the only one that happened while the virgin mary was still alive although it was technically a bilocation of our lady because she was living with john the apostle in jerusalem it is still regarded as an apparition by the tradition of the church according to tradition james the greater brother of st john the evangelist traveled with great effort to spain to evangelize the local tribes he not only confronted great difficulties but he also saw very little apostolic fruits of conversion when at his lowest point of discouragement while he was sitting on the banks of the ebro river in zaragoza however back then it was known as caesar augusta mary appeared to him accompanied by thousands of angels to console and encourage him the virgin mary with the child jesus in her arms and standing on a pillar asked saint james and his eight disciples to build a church on the site she promised that it will stand from that moment until the end of time in order that god may work miracles and wonders through her intercession for all those who place themselves under her patronage the church of our lady of the pillar is the first church dedicated to mary in history and it remains standing to this day having survived invasions and wars during the spanish civil war in the years nineteen thirty six through nineteen thirty nine the communists dropped three bombs on the church from an airplane the bombs tore through the roof and hit the floor but none of them exploded the three now deactivated bombs are currently on display in one of the basilica's walls our lady is also said to have given the small wooden statue of the apparition to st james which now stands on the pillar she arrived on in her book the mystical city of god the venerable mary of agreda wrote that the blessed virgin was transported to spain from jerusalem carried in clouds by angels it was these angels who also crafted the pillar of marble and created the statue of mary their queen holding her divine son it is said that the crown adorning mary was made in about forty days by thirty-three workmen the sunlight crown is made of over twenty-eight hundred diamonds cut triangularly there are a hundred and forty-five pearls seventy-four emeralds sixty-two rubies and forty-six sapphires the crown of the baby jesus is identical in shape although not in size the basilica was redesigned and expanded several times during its history the current structure was completed in the seventeenth century it includes eleven brightly colored tiled domes and is the second biggest church in spain the feast of our lady of the pillar has very important significance to americans as well christopher columbus packed his boat to sail from spain to america on august second fourteen ninety two the feast of our lady of the angels columbus and his men sailed all the rest of august and the whole of september without sighting the land they were looking for and then october approached columbus said if he did not see land on october twelfth the feast of our lady of the pillar he would return and go back to spain by the special providence of our lady it was on october twelfth that columbus first saw land columbus did not choose this day because it was october twelfth simply he chose it because it was the feast of our lady of the pillar in childlike innocence every one of us must admit that it was because of the protection of the blessed virgin mary the mother of god that america was discovered the whole new world was meant to belong to her